I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. We will now discuss the relation between Cartesian, vector and parametric form of equations given for planes. The equation here is, determine the vector and parametric equation of the plane from the Cartesian equation 2x plus 2y minus z minus 7 equals to 0. Now it is very important to understand that Cartesian equation defines a plane with respect to normal, right? So let us say this is our plane. So if we are given a Cartesian equation, then it is saying that there is a normal to this, right? So, so with respect to this normal, it is defining the plane, right? Where we know that the normal vector in this case is 2, 2 and minus 1. Right? Now when we talk about parametric and vector equations, they define a plane in terms of lines or points on the plane. Correct? So that is a major difference. So how do you get equation from Cartesian to vectors? Well, we should look into these points, right? So, so these points may represent three points are necessary. So they could represent these two lines and from there we can define the vector and the parametric equation. So I hope you got the concept. So first step to write a Cartesian equation Let's write it. And from there to get vector equation, what should we do? We should find three points. Correct? So in the given form, what are we given? We are given an equation which is 2x plus 2y minus z minus 7 equals to 0. Now plane has infinite points. We should make our work simpler by isolating the simplest of these parameters. So z, if I take it on the other side, I can write z as equal to 2x plus 2y minus 7. Correct? Now for different values of x, we can find the value of z, right? So we'll just make a table here. and find three points, giving values to x and y, right? We'll calculate what z is. So here, if I write a value, let us say 0 for x, right? And let us say 1 for y, in that case, z will be equals to, this is 0, and that is 1, so it is minus of 5. Correct? So just substitute the values here and get your z value. So that becomes first point for us. Now we could do something like this. I could have placed 1 for x, 0 for y. So 1 means 2 here and 2 minus 7 is again minus 5. So I got two points. Correct? We could also place both, them, both of them as 0, right? So we could take 0, 0 and minus 7. So that gives you the third point. Let's call these points as A, B, and C. So now we have three points. With the help of these three points, we can find two directions, right? We can find two directions. And from those directions, we can get the vector equation. Does it make sense to you? I think it does, right? So let's find the two directions. So let's first find what is our direction A, B. We can do it here also, right? So what is the direction A to B? So A to B, these are my points, right? So, so it will be B minus A. So let's write like this. So B is uh, 1, 0, minus 5. And from there we'll take coordinates of A, which is 0, 1, minus 5. So what do you get A to B? A to B is 1, 1, and 0. So we get A to B. Similarly, we can find what B to C is, right? So let's find B to C. So B to C, 
will be equal to we can do from here 0 minus 1 right so we could also write this in this form so these are different forms uh, since I have lesser space here so I'll just go horizontal this time so b to c is c minus b right so so this minus this gives me minus 1 that gives me 0 and this gives me minus 2 so I get two directions perfect I could have written this as c to b also now with these two directions I'm in a position to write down the vector equation so the vector equation for this particular plane will be we can use one of our points which is which is 0 1 minus 5 correct and we'll use a parameter so we'll say plus s times one of the directions which is 1 1 and 0 plus t times the other direction which I could also write as as 1 0 2 it's very important to understand both are same things okay we are just taking a parameter right which is which is actually same as you can take minus common right 1 0 2 I could have written C B right so in a way as far as the direction is concerned it is kind of same right so in my vector equation I could write that as my answer so that becomes my vector equation clear now how do I get my parametric equation well that is simple we'll write parametric equation from a vector equation So from here, you can clearly understand that these equations are not unique, but scalar equation is absolutely unique, right? So from our vector equation, we can say x is equal to, so this is 0, right? So we could write this as s plus t, y is equal to 1 plus s, right? 0 parameter, that would be 0 and z is equal to minus 5 that is 0 and this is plus 2t so that becomes your parametric equation doesn't make sense to you right so that is how you could actually get vector and parametric equation from the given Cartesian equation right so you could find any set of points no restrictions at all perfect you could have written a b you could have written as we later did we wrote this as c b right and use that direction in our example we normally avoid the negative signs in the direction especially for the first one okay so i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best